the get back. I be focused on my focus, it's time to shut it down. Couple rat tacks go up, nigga, it's going down. They don't check us at the door, don't play around. You gon' make us have to shut this shit down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, we came to shut it down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, we came to shut it down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, we came to shut it down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, we came to shut it down. Nah, I don't need no help. Out to the fake. Shout out to that nosy bitch. You better stay in your place. All you haters get in line. I got my man Jamal. Can't wait to tap in. My man Q Ball. Hope you can get this shirt at Highly Dysfunctional Store. Hit it up. Cop it. You can get it on a hoodie. You can get it on your ass. You can get it in the end. You can get it anywhere you want. Tap in. Cop out. Yo, what's going on? Yo, yo, what up? What's really good, man? <laughs> All right, nigga, what's good? It's love, highly dysfunctional in the building. You already know. Shout out to the motherfucking real. This is classic. This is funky G. Salam alaikum, peace. Good. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatu. Ma, what's good, bro? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Chilling the most. Good seeing you, man. Happy, happy holidays and all that. Hey. Being that, you huh? know, y'all, y'all basically competition. So how, how does this work out, man? How does that work? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I heard that. Um, it worked out. It worked out pretty well, being that it may be competition to the fans, but to us, everybody was in a zone. The youngsters, they had venues of their own. They was doing different shit that we wasn't doing. Mm-hmm. And it just so happened that we was doing some things that they later did uh, they wasn't doing. You feel what I'm saying? So it wasn't competition to us. It was just competition to the people. I, I know I never looked at it like that. I loved all of the kid groups that came out. You know what I mean? Yes. Well, I'm out. let me touch on there, right? That shit was crit. That shit was crazy when I first heard I gets busy. First of all, that shit was fire. You know what I mean? But it, it was crazy because we had already knew Lil Malik from Trutch. You know what I'm saying? Lil Malik used to be with Trutch all the time. Staying with him, and Trutch had another little nephew. I mean, they a little cousin it. named Malik. His name he was little Malik too. His name was Malik. His right. Name exactly. They so it was two Maliks and shit. You know what I mean? Yep. So we right. knew little Malik. All yeah, little dark skin nigga. I remember one time he was with us at our hotel and shit. And when we was about to uh. We was going somewhere. We woke up in the morning. He had stayed the night with us and shit. So we like, damn, nigga, you ain't going to get in the shower. He said, <laughs> no. Nah. He said, fuck that. I'm a cruddy nigga. <laughs> That's right. Cruddy click, nigga. Double up. Cruddy click, nigga. Little town. East Star. Represent. Cruddy nigga. Roll so I'm a cruddy nigga. Right. A nigga right there. That's what's up. But no. Nah, when, when I Gets Busy came out, we was shocked because we like, oh, shit. That's Lil Malik. Why he dissing us? You know what I mean? <laughs> but it was all politics and business, though. Like, that shit was crazy, though. Yo, like, no, you know what I mean? Yo, that shit was crazy. I want to add on on that. No politics. No record label behind it. No Dallas Austin, yeah. no nothing. No, no executive ever. I never knew nothing. When Malik laid on that track, he goes in the back somewhere, he come back, he's in the booth. I sit right there, I write my shit. I never knew what was going to be said. However, you you know, you got Eric Sermon on the track, you just do your job. When, when we did the video, I guess it being that it was visual, it made more of an impact in it, you know what I mean? And it was it was it was cool. I mean, like Malik was a, a um he was a leader at, at that time, and he 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 chose to go head on and just just bomb. And I had you know what I mean, nigga was just right there. So 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 when you first heard that, was your people? Because I was young at that time. I got handlers and shit at that time. Was your people like to the youngsters like, yo, y'all got to get in the studio and get at these niggas? 
be <laughs> better be no like <laughs> no like our peoples ain't our peoples ain't never say that, none of, none of that you know what I mean because what they say we was looking at crisscross we crisscross was our target you know what I'm saying but it's crazy too right cuz i never forget one day we was in unique studios and fucking the billboard awards was on this shit right and when them niggas won and came on stage, we were turned like, oh shit. Like they, hold on, hold on. We felt like they blew passes with that. Right there, we like, damn, these niggas blew passes. <laughs> when they when they won that Billboard Award, we was in the studio and shit. We seen that shit on TV mm-hmm. in the studio in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think we blew past you. I just think that politics was in that because you gotta remember Whitney Houston was signed to Arista and we were like the first child group before Outcast signed to Arista because LaFace was just about to go ahead on and drop Outcast but by Whitney winning those eight awards the only rap group was illegal maybe that was something political however the song stayed on the charts for 32 weeks which was very good for a song that wasn't on mainstream radio versus who were we were up against. I'm cool like that. Diggable Planets. I got a man. What your man done to do with Positive K? All of these so- Chief yeah. Rocker, the Lord Chief Rocker, those, those three yeah. artists were damn near platinum. I'm, 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 if I'm not mistaken, those are platinum artists. Now, and there were radio and club banger songs. We 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 won because of the thirty-two week period and the Arista poll. And I, I thank God for the moment. But with you guys, I, I just want to say something. Like I talk, I, I like I like I ain't being modest. I ain't being you know. I dig. I did. Y'all was going to fucking Australia and shit, and we ain't even seen it. Put it like that. Y'all was going overseas, <laughs> nigga. You know what I mean? Like getting that bread. Man. You feel me? Y'all you niggas know? was down with left eye, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I was down with left, left eye. Hold on. Yeah, I'm still down yeah. with left eye. That was, that was super duper major. You know what I mean? Oh. Word. Rest in peace. Left eye too, you know what I mean? But y'all right. had left eye by y'all and Dallas Austin. So y'all had two powerhouses behind y'all. See, y'all, all your politics is in, in order, you know what I mean? Hey, yo, Q, yes. Q, hold up, hold up. Shout out to the real co host, Cousin Angie, for stepping in the building. Hey, Cousin Angie. How you doing, man? Hey, so- what's up, Angie? What's, what's going on, Angie? I said, I'm chilling. My bad for being late. <laughs> Yeah, you late, man. We gonna knock your motherfucking head. Shout out to my bad, my bad. My you bad. Ball. We got Molly T from Illegal. I don't know if you was hanging out back there, cause I don't know if you was there. I was there. I don't think you was there. I don't think you so. was there. I don't know if you was there though. You wasn't there. I don't think I was there. <laughs> was back there. Nobody said nothing to you. I'm coming at you. because y'all cool with Tretch. So I already know Molly G is cool with Tretch, and I want to know how the fuck did all that come together. Because as kids, we thought y'all was like down with Naughty by Nature, even though we know that's different now. So was y'all signed to Naughty? Or how did that work out? No, we wasn't. We wasn't signed to Naughty. We we just was cool with them. Like we in hip hop array video and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like back then, hip hop was real unified, so everybody would be in each other videos. Everybody show each other love. It wasn't, it wasn't separated like how it is nowadays. Back then, so when we would be doing shows and sh- shit like that, the the artists that we would be at the shows where we would always meet them. You know what I mean, niggas would show each other love, exchange contacts, then you know. Stay in contact with each other, and Naughty was one of them people. 
And Naughty was the biggest niggas in the game at the time. Like, nobody was bigger than Tretch and Naughty. Like, yeah, Tretch was like the, the Jay-Z or the 50 Cent of the industry at that time. You know what I mean? So, we, we just linked up with them niggas. Like, they were some cool niggas. You know what I mean? We linked up with them. And then when we did Hip Hop Array video, Spike Lee directed that video. When we was on the set of that video, KG played this some beats and Tretch aunt house that he was living in, in the, in the uh, dining room or the living room, i never forget. And Cruise Pop was one of the beats. And we like, oh shit, we need that. And that's when, you know, our peoples put it together. And next thing you know, like that, we did that joint, you know what I mean? <laughs> A trash joint, did he write it? Did you know what I'm saying? What, uh, yeah, yeah, he wrote. Yeah, Trex wrote that joint. Oh, all right, all right. Because back then, yeah, because back then, you know, a lot of the young boys wasn't writing these rhymes. Like ABC wasn't writing these stuff. Criss Cross wasn't writing these stuff. You know what I mean? We was, like, like, we was young boys. Well, yeah, was writing I got it down every rap. Those were my first raps no. that I ever wrote. And and like the first rap that I ever wrote was the illegal album. I had one rap, got a deal. Those that was my demo. Uh, and who'd you give it to? No, we was writing our, we was writing our shit, don't get it twisted, but Trutch just wrote that joint. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple joints other niggas wrote. But 90 95% of all our shit was us that we was writing. But they just they just thought it would be better that Tretch wrote that joint, being as though he was on fire at the time. They wanted that naughty by nature feel. You know what I'm saying? Right move. That was the right move. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. Yo, do you remember? Did you ever come to? You ever came to the show in um, Rockland County? Yeah, I know niggas up in Rockland County. Yeah, yeah up in Spring so, Valley, right? But anyway. You know what I'm saying? My shit skips over to a few generations. Shout out to the real. So, more <laughs> deep. <laughs> Boy, yo, ho, ho, ho. what happened, though? What happened? Because I remember one time we did a show at, uh, somewhere, like, up in one of them counties, and it was some nigga backstage bugging out. Yeah. Yeah. You saw? Yeah. He that was show. Out. Steve, he's dead. Rest in peace, Steve. Yeah, this is true. Rest in peace, dark Steve. skin, a uh, dark skin Rest nigga. nigga. Rest in peace, Steve. This is yo, shout out, yo. Him. He died. Oh he shit! Died. I thought I was tripping. This is a fact. Yeah, yeah. We was backstage was and shit. We. It was at the rave. Oh okay, yeah. We was backstage and shit. So I never forget. I had on some shell top Adidas, right? <laughs> so the boy had some shell top Adidas on too. Mm -hmm. So he like, he like, um, he like, damn, he like, yo, we got the same sneakers on. I'm like, oh, okay. He like, yeah, you got a blister on your foot, don't you? <laughs> I'm like, a blister on my foot? He like, yeah, I got a blister on my foot too. Look, took his shoe off, showed a blister. He like, you got a blister on your foot too, just like me. You stomped He just was wild bugging out and shit. You I don't know what was wrong with that he was crazy. He kind of lost his mind, man. They killed him. The police killed him. He yeah, have his shit. They, they killed him. Yeah, he fucked him. Fuck the police. Shit. Yeah, but That's crazy. He he was one Except for the good ones. Whoever out Trump there is good. Man. Fuck the police. Shout out to the real. <laughs> what's going on now? Like, when y'all going to do some concerts or something? Like, what's up? When y'all going to be back on stage? Well, as far as illegal and Jamal... I'll be on stage whenever I get booked. So book me, I'm there. Um, no chores, no no chores coming up. No no spot dates. I don't even have um, a promoter to really like help me to even get get on certain shows. So right now I'm I'm starting fresh with that. I've been in the recording process and and the um, business part of it, to where I'm just trying to figure out which way I'm going to, you know, drop this music and what team I'm going to use because I don't want to just put it up on YouTube or put it up on Tidal and Spotify and CD Baby and all of that stuff, and it really don't have any uh, presence, any push. No back I've done that with 
Yeah. You talking about they'll have that right backing, that that industry backing. Yes, yes. So I got some people that I'm I'm looking forward to meeting with, and and you know, God willing, man, you know, some some things happen better strategically than what's been going on. But I have the arsenal, and um, I got I got the the the, the means to work and to connect. So God willing, you know, everything happen happens sooner than later. You know. Okay. Is there anybody you're interested in as far as like going on tour with? If that was a possibility, anybody you want to work with? Lay a track. Yeah, definitely. I like to go on tour with Karan, with Shaheem, uh, Little Vicious. Um, Vicious, man, I love Little Vicious. Uh, Chi Ali. Okay. Um, ABC. Now that sounds like the concert I go to. <laughs> right, like hey, I, yo, I, mom. I, I got you. Remember my cousin Colonel Moore? No, no, I probably do. Kali, taller, taller than you. Taller than you. No, man, like, no, like brown skin boy, Khalik, that's locked up, man. Colonel Khalik. Man, I, I probably, man, listen, bro, I, I don't remember right now, man. I'm, he was locked. He was locked up with your, I mean, your uncle. I mean, okay, yeah, Kev, Kev, Kev out now. That, right, right. Check his Instagram. Yeah, they was Kev getting his money up. That nigga was working at a dental yeah, yeah, implant. Yeah. This nigga fell in and got hired as at a dental implant place. I'm like, damn, and learned the job. I hear oh, so shit. shout out to my uncle Kev. That's how black people. That's what's up, man. Black. That's what black people do. That's how. This nigga like you all. Oh, oh, telling me to tell you what's up. God. That's what's up, man. That's yeah, what's man. up. Man. Hey yo, free my cousin Colonel, man, Khalid. Shout out to all the niggas. Peace, peace, Lee. Peace, Lee. Hey yo, Malik. I'm burnt out, my nigga. <laughs> Uh, hey, yo, 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 Moe G. So let me ask yes, you. Yes, sir. So Dallas, Oil, yeah. You was, you would. How did you, how did you meet Left Eye? And 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 tell me about that connection. And tell me how the death affected you. I met Left Eye through somebody named Sean Jackson in Philly. He stayed up like um seventy first in Pasco. He worked at Jolly's Records. It was a record store on um. Woodland Avenue that I used to go to and, you know, get all the tapes and stuff like that. You know, that was, that's, I bought Highland Place Mobsters there. Dallas, he, I think he gave me that shit. But that's how I knew that um, Dallas was really existing. That was one of the first people that, that put me on to that, that um, wave of music. And me and my buddy Sa si Scott, and a kid named C. Quill from the block, we had a group that we formed called Hit and Run. He became the manager. We started getting shirts and stuff, doing talent shows. And he said he knew Left Eye. I was um, about to go to um, a child, child like one of those centers, man, for kids and shit like that, one of the group homes. And... A Christmas party happened, and Lisa came. And when when Left Eye came to that party, you know we danced, rapped, sung for, and all that shit. And um, you know, she merged to the side, and um, she was kind of bored. And I I just went up to her, I said, I give you the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars, and the mountains. I get Start singing to her and shit. Man, she started, oh, fucking, shit. you know, she lit up and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, at this time, I was had I had my little high low shit. They had on my Ewings. You know what I mean? But that was that was my my approach to it. And she remembered me. So when I went to that that um group home and I stayed there, when I got out, because I went through a lot of different transitions from psychiatric wards and all of that before I, I got out. I got out of a psychiatric ward and being that I had no family in Philly, they sent me to Georgia where my guardian moved to. That was my great grandmother. And when I got there, I got into school. You know, it was kind of rocky at the crib because I just entered a place where it was a man and a woman and now it's me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, my grandmother's attention wasn't 
towards the man and that kind of it was kind of jealous me and him had a problem and i called left eye after that problem occurred i called the record label she came down and got me within two weeks two weeks i man it was me and ian burke shout out to ian burke hit him up real ian burke he's uh worked with her since the early 90s came and picked me up and took me to the Coca-Cola Music Awards. That was the first place I went. Then the Waffle House and fucking Wendy Hill told me that she gonna introduce me to my Uncle Tupac. Cause that was her, her people. And um, man, it was just, it was crazy. It happened so quick that it was like, damn. But it was like, it was, it was nothing because yo, oh, the fucking first session was Jermaine Dupree and Run DMC. Yeah. I mean, uh, you you a nigga no, fucking no, just no, met. I want I you know watching Crush Groove and shit. You a fan? How did you punch Jermaine Dupree in the face? Oh. I didn't punch him. I slapped him, and I'm not proud oh. of it. But it was That's a slap. It wasn't a punch. Chase it. Damn. Huh? I ain't never know that. No That's one crazy. chased no one. Let me explain something. We came in there with. Dallas Austin. Now, Illegal was created the name Buster Rhymes. Right there, homemade. Yo, y'all should be illegal. Buster Rhymes? He gave us that name. Buster Rhymes? Yeah, Buster Rhymes gave us that. Buster Rhymes gave us that name. Shout out to, so shout the, out to Buster Bus. Well, let me find out. Slap Bush Church in Troy. You know what I mean? That shit. So, like, all right. What was we touching on? You were talking about Jermaine Dupree. Okay, yeah, yeah. boom. Buster so, Rhymes gave y'all the uh, we, name of legal. Yeah, we 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 didn't had nothing to do with no mental beef and totally crossed out shit. Cause that was the name of their little um type movement. The the ABC was mental and Chris Cross was totally crossed out. Now this beef had nothing to do with even the two little boys. It, it was from Dallas and Jermaine and some girl probably. Now, what girl was it? What that shit tripled. What girl was it? Probably Salt and Pepper. Probably about doing a song or some dumb shit. Now you gotta do the history. Like that beef, I, this nigga got slapped about probably Salt and Pepper. It's some shit I ain't had nothing to do with. Because that beef Trying to be. trickled down to us. Now, the first person that I met was Jermaine Dupree through Left Eye. Mm. She took me to the studio. We was at, um, what's that fucking shit down there? It's on, on, it's down, one of the fucking studios. I forget it right now, but we get to the studio and there, there, Run DMC, Jermaine Dupree, and they're doing Down with the King. Down with the King! Yeah, he's doing an album. Yo, so she let him know that I rap. I rap for Run and them. And then they said, that's what's up. That was the first time I heard that term. That's what's so, like, we start going to Jermaine's house. So you speak now, her relationship, her, yeah, her relationship with Jermaine was close. You know, they would do their thing and I would fucking, and I ain't saying they was fucking, but if they was, that's their business. But they went that way. Who, who was right? fucking? I didn't say that. Who I'm you just saying they did their thing. Who you think? Huh? Who you think? No, I said if they were, who? that's their business. Who? Left Eye and Jermaine. Shout out to the real. Right. So the thing is, I thought so. Lisa and Jermaine, Left Eye to the fans. So the thing is, right? Whatever they did, they did. I was intrigued with this Mortal Kombat full-size arcade fucking game that I ain't had to put no quarters in and this fucking pool <laughs> table, right? So I'm on a pool table. The pool table, the balls is clear. I'm like, yo, this is some new shit. I'm, I'm busy with this shit. So he felt like he could approach me different that night. So he said, I know you ain't tripping. But it caught me off guard. And he put his hand in my face <laughs> like that. And that's when I slapped 
And when I slapped him, <laughs> Chris Cross, the little Chris Kelly, it looked like he tried to attack. And I love him for that. He's a Leo. Rest in peace, Chris Kelly. He had heart. I threw a punch at his ass. Shut up. You know, we was cool. Oh, shit. Bro. And, um, oh, we got trampled over. Like, oh. I was on the ground. The whole club start trampling. I'm on the fucking ground. Ed Lover, shout out to you on TV Raps, Ed, I'm saying it, was getting beat up in the back by one of the Coalition DJs. Follow Big X, Coalition DJs, ACL. X was working his ass over. Now, <laughs> whatever happened outside, it was gunshots and shit like that. Yo. Ed Lover got beat up by a country nigga from Decatur. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Hey, you, can ask, you, can ask, you can ask motherfucking ex that shit right now. But that night was so crazy, right? That even George Clinton, he was like, man, that night was so good. But that shit, but then the gunshots went off. I ain't know nothing about no fucking gunshots. He did. You know what I mean? He letting us know shit. Uh, he was fucking dry. <laughs> no, nah, but um, that night was crazy, man. Like. And I apologize to Jermaine every time I seen him. And it was and my, my son's mother at the time, she was like, yo, stop apologizing because every time you apologize, it's like you're bringing it back up. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And he's a, he's a good dude. If you check my Instagram, the last time I seen him, we took a picture. You know what I mean? I had gray hairs. He complimented me on, on my grades. I guess living to see him, but, you know. Hold up, man. So he took a picture <laughs> with you after the incident? Man, yeah, Jermaine is is man. Jermaine is a, a good dude, man. He 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 knew he made a mistake also, right? And he know that I like that's just things that that happen. It's a reaction. Like we are strangers. Mm-hmm. We got to know each other. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? We both short. He's inspiration to me. When I think I can be a rich ass nigga mm-hmm. with brains, and I'm short, cause Jermaine Dupree did it. And he has Janet Jackson. Mm-hmm. So that motivates me, man. So, you know what I mean? So, he, you know, we polar opposites. He's a Scorpio. I'm a Taurus, man. You know, we, we right across from each other. You know what I mean? We got that same drive and passion. My shit is just for rapping, and his is for production and rapping. Mm-hmm. I love that dude, dog. You know what I mean? Why do you- he's, a, he's a funny looking dude, but I love that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen some young pictures of his ass? In my mind, I picture a little midget motherfucker like, yo, nigga, bow down, nigga. On some, you ever see Friday with motherfucking Cat Williams? That's how I picture you coming up to him and then you never. Shit out. <laughs> I don't do it like that because I'm not that. Look, first of all, I talk soft. If you listen to Week Is Busy, yeah, and all the people that was down with us, but it was just when it's time to rap. No, you're aggressive. And something else came out. You feel me? <laughs> something else came out. And I used to say it was therapy. You feel what I'm saying? I never would come at uh, Jermaine like that for the simple fact that um, it, I didn't know what was going on. I'm new to the situation. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm rolling with Dallas Austin. Oh. Buster Rhymes is with us. We 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 just I just told Red Man come to the crib. That was my, you know, like first times meeting Red Man. Shut you up. feel what I'm saying? I haven't even met Eric. I met Red Man before Eric. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Red Man went and told Eric about us. Mm-hmm. And um, Eric, Eric motherfucking came down there on a shrimp of some other business and just happened to be in the same area. And Dallas put him in the studio with us, and we we went on ahead and just attacked the beats that was there. So who was man, that? and it was a blessing, man. So who, who was I, like I don't say everything is a blessing. Blessing is waking up. That was a blessing. My bad. Go ahead. So who did, did Eric Sherman start fucking with Left Eye? I mean, listen, man. Like I don't want to talk about their relationships and shit. Like I could just say this much: Eric and Lisa, to me, were both close. She was like a mother, uh, uh, everything, and he's like a father, uncle, and everything also. And we all have been around each other. Um ain't nothing wrong with fucking family. That's, that's all I can say. Huh? They fuck, they fuck, she's dead, man. Rest in peace. Shout out to the real. If she gave that ass up, let's talk about it. 
No, no, see, that's, 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 this is one thing. This is, this is, this is the one thing. This is the one thing that I learned, right? Oh, the niggas who get the most pussy and keep they pussy, don't tell who they fuck. She now, did. then on top of that, right? That if Lisa was alive, she would tell you who she fucking. She would tell you if they nuts with sweaty, if she about to fucking give a fuck about it. She'd tell you when she got a pussy ate by the same sex, she was open. And she'd cook you a meal and paint you a share. I didn't have to tell her story. And nobody never had to. Did you, hit you feel me? Like, her unfilteredness and pureness was a gift. So, in a way, like, people try to make 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 a, um, a big deal about it. She can fuck 10 niggas, right? And all them niggas is going to come back and fuck her after knowing she fucked 10 niggas. You know why? People could... Because she's a hell of a woman. Bad. Shout out to Simple real. As that. You are my type of nigga. I Bad. say that shit all the time. Yo, That's pretty not... people could do what they want. And especially you light skin motherfuckers, man. And shout out to the real man and woman. They can do what they want, man. So that would you know. How did you play a part in them getting That's together true. and the house burning down, bro? I, I ain't had shit to do with the house burning down, but. I introduced him to her. <laughs> you know what I mean? I asked him, I said, we was at the club at uh, Diamonds, and I was looking at a picture on the wall. He was right there. I said, yo, that's my mom right there. I said, you want to meet him? He was like, yeah. I said, come on. I took him over there. I said, yo, Lisa, I said, this this Andre, such and such, they linked up. He gave her like two dozen roses or some shit, and we left. Uh, we, we stayed on like Panthersville, Panthersville Road. And me and Malik was fucking up in the house. She had just bought me a drum set, bought him some other shit, moved my uncle in from Philly. He was on the run in fucking Missouri somewhere on a drug case from Philly, and we got his ass back on deck. So she had my family in the house, Malik in the house, and we was getting on our nerves. Best thing I did was introduce it to that nigga because he had his own mansion out in Alpharetta. Yeah. She linked up with him. And um, she stayed like two weeks. Like we was in the house by myself. My uncle was the 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 motherfucking patriarch of that motherfucker at that time. So, man, um, like Lisa, man, she 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 went on ahead and stayed there. And whatever they had going on, now that was different. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit, you know, because they violated each other. I seen a black eye on her, but I gotta think like nigga. Motherfucker burn my motherfucking mansion down. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying. So like Drake get a pass on, on, on that shit, but that's my G, man. Um Lily was a was a a, a a lovely motherfucking uh lady, man. She had all types of friends from man Wine Ye, nigga Michael Bivens, uh Tretch, Tupac, fucking Jordan Knight, Eric Sherman, fucking Jay Rogers, she had a bunch of niggas. And, and if they was having sex or whatever, that's their business. But I tell you one thing that never that never fucked with her. That would fuck with her is the fake and niggas. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers that sell you dreams and act like shit is all good and then turn on you. And that's what put her through that motherfucking mental spill probably. You feel me? Mm. So like, nigga, keep it real, tell the truth, don't be a prick. Mm -hmm. And everything would be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me ask you something. Word, keep that shit 100, my nigga. I'm going to ask you one more question. Cue ball real quick. <laughs> shout out to Word. The, shout out to Left Eye. Rest in peace. And that's perfect. That's my baby. Yeah, rest in peace, Left Eye, man. man. Everybody come see I'm it. Right it. out here in Panola Road. Hold up, real quick. Hey, look. Did you ever Go hit? ahead. Huh? Did you ever hit? No. All right. And if I did, I wouldn't tell. All right. I don't know why not. So you was around her for how many years? Huh? How long was you around her for how many years? Since since I was eleven. And then and then eleven twelve. And then till she died. Until TLC time, you around her to the park phase. Until she died, I was in Honduras, nigga. I took a flight from. Atlanta to Miami, Miami to Houston, Houston to Belize, Belize to St. Pedro Sula, St. Pedro Sula into La Saba, nigga. So let me ask you, let me ask you a real question real quick. So Yes. Because that's real shit. That's real yeah. shit. 
That was real shit to go by yourself. And don't, I'm Puerto Rican and black, but don't speak no motherfucking Spanish like that. I had to, I'm like, yo, I'm going in the jungle. Who the fuck I'm going to trust to take me in the jungle out this bitch? I picked the short nigga. I said, I'm going to whip his ass and try something. <laughs> short chubby nigga. <laughs> we was in that motherfucker. I was just watching. The motherfucker music was like, brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. We in the dark. I'm looking like, brum, brum. You brum, 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 my ass, nigga. <laughs> fuck that. I'm ready to strike, quick, nigga. Real quick, man. <laughs> Left eye. Yeah. Her passing away. Did right. I want. Did you go to a on my birthday? Did you go to her funeral? And yes, I did. I had a big left eye shirt on. And I went to the wake. I went to the funeral. I go to see her on her birthday. I take her orchids. I take her flowers. I cry on her every time I see her. Every May twenty seventh, she's right there on Panola Hillingdale. She just got a new stone from what I heard. Shout out to Ron Lopez, her brother, uh, Raina, Miss Wanda, the whole family, Tangi. Um, shit. That's 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 my that's my my one of my um expensive pains. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 shout out to Meek Mill. That's that's the um Losing her was harder than losing my grandmother, my great grandmother, and and my great grandmother, and for two reasons, my great grandmother raised me since I was a baby. Shut up. But Lisa's passing Annie. was more more impactful, and and it 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 brought more compassion to me than my grandmother's for the simple fact that she was young. She told me out of her mouth she wanted to live to see a hundred when she started her diet, going to the bush. And I know how intelligent, how poetic, how creative, how caring, generous, and thorough she was. And um, like for that energy to not be physically present. It's here. But when that energy is not physically present, it that it causes something that's very, 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 very painful in the people that experienced it. And um that should have never, ever, ever my fucking, you know what I mean, like leave my system. I wake up on my birthday, 426, and I realize that. Just the day that nigga, I tried to call my my baby and she wasn't alive. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? That's crazy. my she mom' birthday, twenty seven. Yeah, but well, you know, Lily believed in transitioning. You said, hey, and you know, I'm Muslim. I, I believe in, in celebrating, and I, I I love I love her. But I'm not gonna keep keep that pain. I'm gonna just take that gift, the giving that she gave me, and give more because. She the one showed me how to really be like not a bitch about it and say, hey, look, you want me Dallas? Tomorrow I'ma go, I'ma be down, I'ma be down, such and such, boom, boom, boom. I take a nigga, I take a nigga to go see any motherfucking body. You tell a nigga yourself. You, 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 you know what I mean? Now that turns into here, take this studio. Here, take this little portion of budget. It when I get it, they got it. So like um, you you gotta remember it was said they'll give you all the tools you need to kill yourself and defeat yourself, but the one thing is you gotta when you're going down the wrong direction, right? You realize it. What do you do? You keep going the wrong direction. You fucking get off. You turn around. You go the right direction. So right now it's that time to to get off. Turn the fuck around. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to the real man, and I appreciate you sharing that. And man, that's heavy, man, because I like to keep it real on here, and we all go through changes, man. And and we want to talk about everything here. And I appreciate you right. sharing that to me because that shit hit a nerve in me that hit home because we all got things we need to clean up and get better at. Shout out to Oh, uh, definitely. 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 Bro, shout Cue ball, real quick, man. What's good, baby? Chime in. Yo. 
What's up, my Nick? <laughs> um, <laughs> yo, listen, right? I met Left Eye one time in Atlanta. I mean, no, matter of fact, it was Ohio. It was Cleveland, Ohio. I think it was 97 at the All-Star game. Me and my man, Lil Troy, Troy Carter. That's what's we up. Was at a, uh, I think we was at this uh, Reebok party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we was at a Reebok party. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was there. Allen Iverson. Red man was there, you know what I mean? Every everybody was there. Puffy. That sh- that shit was lit. But I met her that one time. That's the only time I met her. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to left eye though, man. Yo, so- I met Jermaine Dupree. Last time I seen Jermaine Dupree too was in the studio with Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. You know what I mean? I had did a Damn. song for Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I did a job well, for Kobe Bryant. Mama. Yeah, with well, Kobe big. Bryant, Benny Spiegel, Black Thought from the Roots, and some other boy named Brody that was a Kobe Bryant artist. You know what I mean? It's on YouTube. Look it up. Kobe Bryant, Philly Live. But Jermaine Dupree and Jay-Z came through the session at that time when I was doing that joint. 50 came yeah, through that day, that too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that was the that was the last time I seen Jermaine. It was crazy too, cause we both got in the elevator together and left out the studio together. It was it was crazy. We was like literally, you know how small the elevator is. We was like standing right next to each other in the Sony Studios, going downstairs in the elevator. Then right after that, like a week later, he sent me an invitation to one of his parties and shit. You know what I mean, but I ain't get a chance to make it though. Who sent you that oh, Why not? You don't mind me asking. Huh? Why not? You want- Jermaine Dupree. Huh? Jermaine Dupree? That's what's up. You should have yeah. went through. Shut up. Yeah, I know. I didn't get a chance beats. to make it. Yeah. He would have stole some of your yeah. beats and put this shit out. How old was you when you smacked, man? I was smacking at that time, though. <laughs> you want to produce it? that nigga. How old was you? Track masters Yo, at that going, time. You putting it on it. I was 14 when I smacked Jermaine Dupree. You need to ask Yo, but I'm from Philadelphia. That's what we did to try to prove we was grown. We smacked the door. <laughs> We'd be like, oh, hey, you think I'm going to hit you? Real. <laughs> yeah, nigga, fuck that, nigga. The reason why I never looked at like beefs like that like, the reason why I could be in the elevator with him and stuff like that without looking at him crazy, because I came up with my pop with, you know, Hilltop Hustlers and Hot Bar Records. Them dissing everybody, so I knew it was just music, you know what I mean? I knew that I knew how to differentiate the, the difference between the two. I wasn't, I wasn't looking at it like beef, because I seen many rap beefs before. I started rapping already, and I knew it was just music. You know what I mean? Why? Well, I knew it wasn't real. So even as, as a young kid, you knew it wasn't shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I knew it was just music. You know what I mean? Because I was a it's, rapper in the hood, and even in the hood, if you said some fast shit, I'm fucking you up. That's a fact. <laughs> you know what I'm Yo, let me tell you something. You gotta remember. This nigga, this, these is, these is young group. This is a young group, right? All right, let's talk about the illegal shit. Chi Ali. Drez, Drez and Chi Ali was at a show. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers was relentlessly throwing quarters and razors and whatever objects. But we didn't stop rhyming. We was right there in the arena. Kept this shit moving. I, it was no, it's no, um, I never looked at no shit like no beef shit, man. The shit was more, it was exciting. The shit was exciting because it was new. And I was like, nigga, this nigga got balls. Like, Lee, Lee had balls, man. And, and the motherfucker went on ahead and tried to take a gun through the motherfucking airport after that. I knew the nigga was a, he had balls. I said this nigga crazy. All right, you know what I mean? Seriously, 
Listen, shout out to the real. Highly just shout out to Lee, nigga. That's my man. Shout out to Lee. Shout out to cousin Ange. We are doing what we doing, and this is a great show. Thank you. But I want to ask you: you was with Dallas Austin with illegal. You know what I'm saying? Right. You ball said, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even on the radar with them. You know what I'm saying? No, definitely because you got to think, how can we be on the radar with them? The youngsters, the youngsters dropped their first record, right? I, I'm going to say this. We wasn't on the radar with them, but their record label knew what it was because we dropped. Oh, no, we knew what it was. We wanted Pop Pop. Their next song was Cruise Pop. Pop Pop. So they knew. Somebody knew, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't. No, it, we it wasn't. It wasn't a thing. No, Trap knew. Hold on, Trap knew. Q, tell him, I, Trap I think, knew. I think the youngsters would. Head of gut. Would you try to act? Head of gut came no, out no, after Cruise Pop. Never that. Had, a, had, had never that. Um, Karan, come on, man. I, no, you know better. So you say, You sure about that? Because when y'all distance, we Karan. already had Cruise Pop. Karan. 1993 in August is when my album dropped. My white label was out before that. Head of Gut was the first thing that hit. You know what I mean? My video, my video Head of Gut was done in Avondale Station with Left Eye in it. Um, Man, Tretch bit that shit and gave it to y'all, man. Tretch know what the fuck he did. He tried to give y'all some shit that was... He tried, came out before. A, he tried to give y'all a song that was somewhat competitive. Had a gut where you wanted, had a gut pop pop. I asked you when you wanted, when you oh, said, Cruise it Pop, you mean pop pop? It was the fucking same thing. It wasn't called Cruise Hop at first. It was called Cruise Hop at first. Then when we was in the studio, it came. It changed the pop. pop. It changed the pop. That was the shit. Now that's 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 like McDowell's and McDonald's, nigga. <laughs> something something I'm is tell you, Cruise Pop came out first. No, it didn't. Let's do the history. Google it. Oh shit. It's Googleable. Yeah, Google. It. Cruise Pop came out before that. The, the No Mercy album dropped in uh, '94. Hey, come on. He dropped the album a hey, year. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you on, but that, 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 that was that, that's not a Make fact. Famous was that's not a fact, Karan. That's not a fact. Google it. 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 I guess with Malik being like over there, like it something bothered him about it. You know, Leek is that's his that's his heart, man. You know what I mean? Leek was little Tretch. So I know this because when I asked Tretch about him to this day, he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't feel like, you know, talk about that. He, you know, like let's talk about what we doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what? I'm just I'm just keeping it real, Karan. Like, I should drop. Our album dropped in August, Karan, and like you know, we burnt out. We been high. We be smoking blunts. You might just be like, like getting your dates fucked up. But honestly, my G, we dropped head of gut before cruise pop. It's Googleable. It's Googleable. And tomorrow, you gonna see. Uh, tonight, you gonna see. And then you'll be like, yo, Tretch, why you give us some shit after these niggas did that? Because it was stupid. Like, I, I thought of, I looked at this shit and be like, for real? That's what I really thought about that nigga being a part of it. And how the shit came across to me. Hold up. And I was saying y'all bit the youngsters, though. They saying y'all bit the youngsters. They saying illegal bit the youngsters. And I remember the young how? coming out first, so I'm trying to figure out that. How, 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 who said that? No one ever said that. Because it's three of them and two of us. I they would say we big crisscross. Yeah, man. They would, they would try to say we big crisscross before the youngsters. The youngsters was original. It's three of them guys, right? The only thing that Cute, would, would even 
remotely make them say anything with us in the same conversation would be that we're both child stars. And that uh, somebody <laughs> did research and said that Jamal come from Philly and they come from Philly. But motherfuckers didn't know I came from Philly. They thought I was from New York or either fucking Georgia somewhere. Nobody knew that. So you said Petey Crack didn't know that. Beanie Siegel didn't know that. None of them niggas knew that. Nobody knew where the fuck I was from. But I'm a 61st in Ron Hart, Upland Street. I look light skinned and, and, and fucking clean, but I'm a dirt ball. I'm a fucking, I'm come from the dirtiest part of the fucking country, nigga, Beirut. You feel me? We robbed trains. We put refrigerators on a train track, stopped them bitches, popped the back of them and fucking act like savage fucking Hungarians or Africans or some shit. <laughs> and, and, take, and take fucking, uh, you laughing, you know what we do, take anything. Can, we got infamil, nigga. Hey, look, my brother be happy now for Mill coming down the train track. Know they gonna sell some shit. Crackheads be happy because they like, nigga, that's the least, that's the least a, a call to out. Hold up, hold up, time out. Time out, Molly G. Shout out to Rick, because this is the thing. We come from that spot. Hold up. I ain't even talking about the hustling and shit. Hold up, hold up. And the killing. Molly G, Molly G, please, <laughs> man. This Word. Thing. Huh? We got a late start. We running out of time. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And and, and we, we, we get... We ain't talking about no fucking upcoming projects. We ain't get to nowhere. No beef that my nigga Karan did. Yeah. All that. But before All that shit. That, before we get to that, Marley G, because I, I want to come back. I hope we get to finish. Shout out to the youngsters. Q-Ball. Q-Ball. Shout out to all the motherfuckers out there that's Q representing the 90s kids of rap. Lil Bissy, Shaheen, Shi Ali. Stand up. A plus, you know what I mean? A B C, get it. Chris Smith. Jermaine, I apologize again. Stop apologizing. <laughs> nah, cause he I'm brought that shit up again. Like I'm gonna answer Stop. it. Look, one thing a motherfucker say: if you ask him, he gonna answer. So it's my bad again. Karan, I don't know what you bent out of shape for over there. Cruise pop dropped after motherfucking had a gut, nipple. We gonna ask Come on, Q. You. No, we gonna go. <laughs> Come on, Q. Tell me that. Tell me what's going on. We gonna go. I thought the... It's Google. With a legal claim, I thought I can they... Google the shit right now. All right. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Don't Google that you. shit. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm gradable. Up in this motherfucker. Yo. Why you ain't coming at that nigga? Hey, man. He tried to buy I'm a you fucking calculator, that. nigga. I should be an accountant. I know numbers. August. It. August motherfucker, 1993, illegal, untold truth drop. Head of Gut was the first single. White label. That came before We Gets Busy. We Gets Busy was the second single. The third single was back in the day when I was a teenager. So the white label comes way before the motherfucking, uh, the second single. You looking right now. You looking? Put it in the screen, Q. What that say? Screen, Q. We got receipts. We got receipts. What does it say? Put it in there. What is that? What is that? We can't see. What is that? What is that? Go Cruise pop what? Go away. Oh, oh, look. I don't know about what it say. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? April, April 1993. April 20th, 1993. You see that? What happened? He said, what happened? What happened? Okay, now I said my album dropped in August. We had a white label car had a gut. Check when that shit dropped and check the date on the video. <laughs> Nigga, it, it had a gut drop first, man. I, it, I fuck that, that date. I don't give a fuck what that said. We can get Dallas Austin and Tretch on this motherfucker. Call Tretch, nigga. I get, I got Tretch number. Hey, look, this is the thing. My, my homeboy keeps showing, right? Come on, baby. Hey, hey, look, that shit ain't valid. That's a, that shit is bullshit like a motherfucker. Let's get this money. I, look, hey, look, we dropped that shit and then watch these niggas drop a song like us. Like, I know I ain't stupid. I just had... 
Yeah, I'm looking at these motherfuckers like we just did pop pop. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like George Clinton that picked up our shit and was doing his that our shit in his show. George Clinton was doing had a gut. We was on the weakest business. Had a gut. You feel what I'm saying? Scary. Yeah, that's my that's my that's my OG man. But look, you want that shit is. Small potatoes. I don't give a fuck. I know what it is. <laughs> you tripping. Uh, we, but, you been, we know you're not ready. That's what he's saying. Shout out to the real. Yo, Q, you look get in there. Q, come on, baby. <laughs> Keep in the business. That I just showed you. Q, Q dipping, man. Q over there dipping. He, he chilling, man. He, he's sucking it all in. Like, I'm going to get him back the next time. No, he, I'm talking more. Saying, <laughs> the comments saying you might lose that battle. We got five seconds remaining. I ain't losing listen, shit. Listen, listen, listen. Shout out to the fucking real. The real. Keep it real. Holly dysfunctional. Like, we came to shut it down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. We came to shut it down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. We came to shut it down. Nah, I don't need no help.